The man spilled woman accused of killing her boyfriend, a Boston cop, heads to court today. It is day one of the highly anticipated murder trial of Karen Reed. She's accused of murdering her Boston police officer boyfriend back in 2022. Jury selection is underway at the Norfolk County Superior Courthouse. And that's where we find NBC 10's Liz Bateson, who has been following this case all morning. Hey there, Liz. Hey, Barb, no one has been seated on the jury just yet, but protesters have been out here all morning long outside the courthouse with signs claiming that Reed is innocent. They've been ordered to stand 200 feet away from the courthouse because of all of the attention this case has gotten. A sea of pink in support of Karen Reed. Karen Reed could be any one of us. Thank God she has the money and the means to fight this. But if it was us, one of everyday person, we'd be in jail by now and you wouldn't even know about this. As jury selection begins in the murder trial of Karen Reed, Reed is accused of running over her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV and leaving him out to die during a 2022 snowstorm. The case has led to a lot of debate and protests. I'm taking this personal. Causing the judge to order a buffer zone around the courthouse and prevent anyone from wearing clothing in support of either party on courthouse grounds. Some say that's a violation of their First Amendment rights. I think her ruling is unjust. She's trampled on our First Amendment rights. That's why I'm here with the American flag. Is, is she going to have me arrested with an American flag? I asked a Suffolk University law professor how challenging it will be to get an impartial jury given all of the publicity surrounding the case. All you need to do is, is look at what happened in, in New York City yesterday to get a little bit of a preview, right? I mean, high profile cases, especially with the uh, how prevalent social media is are, are hard now. Reed has pleaded not guilty, claiming she's been framed by law enforcement to protect the real killer. Reed's lawyers argued in pretrial hearings that the jury should hear this theory known as the third party culprit argument. It's a time honored method uh, of, of for criminal defendants to uh, point the finger at other parties as long as there's uh, a reasonable amount of evidence pointing in that direction. The judge did grant that motion this morning, but says the defense cannot open with it. She also named potential witnesses, including police officers, state troopers, and Massachusetts residents. For now, live in Dedham, Liz Bateson, NBC 10 News.